to be as vulnerable as possible. I want to be as sincere as possible. I wanted to go north. I'm just like, you can't? So hey guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're seeing me for the first time, my name is Chioma aka Chilo. I'm a Nigerian and I'm currently living and studying here in Japan. So today's video will just be a very vulnerable chit chat video. Genuinely, I, I kind of enjoy doing videos like this with you guys. So today's video will just be me telling you the challenges that I face doing YouTube in Japan. See, I know I don't say this often and a lot of people that watch my YouTube videos and are doing YouTube, sometimes they reach out and they're like, how do you do this? How do you, you know, there was only a time I thought it was just a foreigner YouTuber challenge. But recently, I think that video should be up by now. I met up with Yoshi and we shot a video and I was like trying to ask him um, about, because he was complaining that he's not been so consistent. And I was like, yeah, talking about that. Why is that so that? I told him that a lot of people would be really interested to see his life as a hairdresser in Japan because I feel like that's one of the things that made people really fall in love with him, like really like him, really enjoy him. And you no, know, I was just trying to give him video ideas that I feel would do really well. And he started complaining bitterly about, you know, some of the issues, some of the constraints, some of the limitations, some of the challenges. And when he was talking, I was just like, ah, ah. I thought this was a foreign youth, foreigner YouTuber challenge because I've spoken with some foreigners that are doing YouTube in Japan, especially blacks, and we share almost the same you know, sentiments about doing YouTube. I was not like, ah, you feel this. Even though I know that, even though I know that he may not be feeling it in the same magnitude as we that are foreigners, but he admitted to feeling it in a little percentage. So that conversation made me realize that, wow, it's not just a me thing or my other friend, um, friends or acquaintances issue. It's a challenge, you know, doing YouTube in Japan. A lot of you watch me and I see I see people drop comments like, oh, you inspired me to start a channel. Oh, this, oh, that's those. And it just feels like maybe, I don't know, maybe I make it look like it's easy, but to be honest with you, it's it's not easier so today's video i will just give you three i want it to be so fast just give you three ways in which or three challenges that i face genuinely doing youtube in japan and the reasons why i probably have even considered quitting at some point so let's get right into today's video i'll just give you three reasons and i really hope this video gives you context to um some things some questions you may have asked or hard but you don't know how to ask i also help it gives you context if you're a youtuber here in japan watching me you understand that you're not going through this alone or you're looking at starting a youtube channel or you're just anywhere in the world or you're just or you are someone that used to feel like it's it's, it's easy breezy it's easy breezy it just helps give you context so the first challenge i face is definitely the shyness of the people like japanese people i think this is what yoshi was talking about japanese people are so shy see <laughs> i can't tell you the number of video ideas that i've had to trash or i've had to post some not trash some just have had to post because it is not happening it's not coming i'll give you practical examples because like i said i want this to be as vulnerable as possible i want to be as sincere as possible Okay, so if you remember the video I did about black girl doing makeup in Japan, that video, I'll try and link it up here. You remember that video? That video is currently, I think, maybe about a million views, if I'm not mistaken. It did really well. That video, let's say I had the idea of that video in, let's just give you a random example. I had the idea like in February. I finally shot that video like in May or April because of the whole delay and challenges. So there was this particular day I just made up my mind that, you know what, I'm going to go to the streets. Because previously I was doing Instagram things. I was trying to search for, you know, makeup artists that are, um, that are online and just communicate with them. Because one thing with me, uh, I've watched some YouTubers, they don't really tell people maybe what they are filming for. I don't believe in that. I believe in letting you know what I'm filming for so that tomorrow when you see yourself 
on youtube you don't feel like i used you or you don't feel like i breached your privacy especially in a country like japan that has so many unspoken rules so i like to let you know oh i'll be filming i'll pay you normal i'll pay you for your services but i would love to film just so you know what um, i'm coming to do to so i had tried on instagram for several weeks i had tried so i tried so hard online i tried on instagram i tried on facebook i searched for makeup artists and i wasn't getting a positive feedback so i told myself one sunday after church i was like i'm going to hit the streets i'm going to go i will look for shops i'll look for makeup outlets and i'm going to go there myself and hopefully i will get something <laughs> guys i spent hours so church finishes by dismisses around 12 as at 6 p.m i was still there not like i wasn't seen so i would go i would see someone like i would see a makeup um artist and i'll be like oh um can you they are always excited trust me i'm not even going to lie they are always very excited to want to you know try on you because maybe you're the first black customer so you would see the excitement they, they were like oh yes i want to maybe i show them what i want and we start talking i ask price and then i'm not i now go oh i would like to uh, make a video their initial response to might be oh okay maybe they think it's just for personal use or for instagram or just sending to your family and then i say oh no i do youtube i'm a youtuber and you start seeing their expression go down and then i'm like okay i'll open my channel because i'm that's that's just how i like to operate just so you know this video might go viral so i'm not lying to you in any way i'll open my channel and that's the minute you now get your no i just hear things like oh no i can't i'm shy no i don't want to, no i don't want my face there no no I just kept getting no upon no upon for six hours so um i finally saw this person this was towards the time when i was giving up on my hunt and i saw this lady and i went to their shop i think they it's it's a popular brand i don't want to call the brand i go in there and i asked for the makeup artist and they show me and she speaks very sweet english at the point i had to ask her ah, ah you how she was like okay she lived abroad i think in philippines or so so her and i was so happy in my head i'm like ah i've gotten this is god just when i wanted to give up and i tell her i want to do makeup and she was so excited as always oh she has never done makeup on a black person before and then i tell her okay this is what um i want to do i show her you know we got talking how much and then i go to the main part oh i would like to make a video and she was like oh, okay that's fine it's for instagram or personal use right i'm like no it's for youtube and now she speaks good english i didn't have to explain myself too much and she was like oh you're a youtuber i said yes i open my channel i show her and she was just like mm. okay let her ask her boss she asked her boss and her boss was like it depends on her whatever she wants and she was like okay that she will only do it if um um, her face doesn't show how did she put it that I, I should film it in a way that her face doesn't show just her doing it um her body her back can show her but her face will not show and then i will not bring down my max i'm like i don't understand what kind of makeup is that she was like hey, covid this is that that is going to be a eye head um makeup so that part of me that is a content creator was like ah this is gonna be a very nice creepy video actually i can style it i can title it um black girl does um eye makeup or co maxed makeup you understand i already came up with ideas in my head we agreed on the time we agreed on that thing was on a sunday i went there so we agreed that on tuesday which was a public holiday that i will come just because i won't go to school we agreed on time I go home i was so happy i was like finally i remember reaching out to stefan was it stefan or who i reached out to someone that will help me to hold the camera and okay stefan and he accepted i was so everything looked good i told stefan the time he said okay he will try to be available i was so happy i remember calling my loved ones i was like finally 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 on monday evening i cannot forget i was cleaning clearing my decks to go home i was so happy i'd already made up my mind on what to wear for the film i had already contacted stefan to like remind him and then i see her message on instagram and she goes oh that she's sorry but she won't be able kai i wanted to run mad i'm just like i wanted to go not i'm just like you can't and she's like yeah her boss said I just knew it was excused. So I just told her, 
you know what it's fine it's okay no problem and she goes oh she's sorry i'm like no problem it's fine it's okay no hala no problem it's fine and that was how that was cancelled it took extra how many weeks to get that particular makeup artist that i finally filmed it's a lot getting one video with a japanese person like all this hair nail ah, it can be a lot but i'm just grateful because i'm beginning to get a hang of how the country works so it's it's getting a little bit easier but this is one thing that even other foreigners have complained about so hearing yushi complain about it was like wow because he was like he has a lot of customers but each time he says oh can i film can i take a video You're like no i don't want to no i don't want to no i don't i'm just like oh now it makes sense why you can't put out those kind of videos he's like yeah that most of his customers are shy that most of the videos he's able to make is foreigners and it's true it's actually foreigners that are open to that when he asks them they are like oh okay no problem no problem it's okay it's fine but he complained that he can't keep having one customer one face one style on his channel he would need you know a mix so that's one challenge that a lot of times foreigners face now for me particularly the second challenge i face is time incompatibility time incompatibility what do i mean so i'm a student and what that entails is that my mondays to friday i'm a phd student precisely my mondays to fridays are booked like i'm in school i'm in lab i'm a chemistry student i have to run experiments i have to write these i have to do, be in conferences so i try to separate my youtube life from my school life not because it's a crime right but just because i don't want it i don't want anyone disrupting anyone but what happened is the problem i now have with that is a lot of times these um, vendors like let's say the makeup artists or the this or the that a lot of times they are they are they will always be they always choose or they always prefer a weekday than weekends because they will tell you things like oh weekends they have a lot of customers and because of how japanese people are shy and don't want to see themselves on youtube um they will prefer you coming during the weekdays when they don't have as much customers so you can make the video and not inconvenience someone so it's usually a big challenge to me so the only times that it favor me is if there is a public holiday during that week i can all say oh this public holiday but even sometimes that public holiday they are like oh it will be crowded because it's a public holiday sometimes we have to now do it in the night like in the evening after lab i try to like finish from school as early as possible and then go there in um, the evening of the weekday and film so the timing compatibility is really an issue also time incompatibility with who would help you hold the camera is also an issue a lot of people want to use their weekends to rest to like japan can be very stressful they want to use their weekends to like rest bond with maybe their loved ones or travel so when you're telling someone will you help me hold the camera during the weekend it's like no can it not be during the weekday and you're also not really so free during the weekday so time incompatibility is definitely also an issue that i face so yeah that's the second challenge the third challenge is the unspoken rule culture in japan japan is that country that has so many rules just like every country right but japan's own is it has so many rules as regards to just so many rules that are not even spoken somehow they just expect you to know even when you are not told and because of the whole polite culture and saving face culture here in japan they don't tell you directly that um, um this is a rule they just feel like when you come you should just use your head your instinct and know so a practical example for this one is i had a video on my channel that video was about i think it was a day in my life or school come to school with me i can't remember it's been a while that was one of the first videos i filmed on my first year here on youtube i was not yet at this 50,000 subscribers i was even less less than 1k subs or about 1k subs i did that video and i uploaded it right guess what guys i uploaded that video and about two weeks later tabby meets me one day and she's like oh can she have a word with me i'm like okay why it's so serious and then she goes oh somebody told her that he a lab member that he watched a video of mine and i showed 
some a clip or a scene this was like a 10 second scene that had name tag i don't even know i can't remember the exact but literally in the line of i shouldn't have made a video that showed the lab something in that line like there were some scenes and i didn't show anybody's face guys i was so i was just like wait how because I hardly tell people in the lab I have a YouTube channel just because of how it could make you know a lot of times people hear you have a YouTube channel and for some weird reason they just feel like you're an, or you're an unserious person even when YouTube is a very serious venture like people don't know that running a channel needs a lot of mental <laughs> let's not get into how people view youtubers so I don't even tell people in the lab I do YouTube because I hardly even film in the lab so I separate that part of my life from school right so I was like, who is the person? And she's like, the person says he doesn't want you to know the whole polite and saving face thing. And I'm like, wait, this person follows me on social media. Definitely, because that's the only way this person must have seen my announcement when the video went up. And she was like, well, she promised the person that she would not divulge the person's identity. I felt so bad. I had to put that video on private for like two weeks. I didn't upload a video that weekend. I felt so bad. You know, when you're, you're already someone that is conscious of not making people uncomfortable you're already someone that is conscious of people's privacy and now even in your consciousness this happens it starts making you doubt everything i didn't upload a video that weekend i was all up in my emotions i remember calling a loved one i was crying i was just like you know what i'm tired you know japan is so rigid with this whole thing there are so many unspoken rules and all that so i came back to youtube that year uh, probably about after two weeks and then what i did was i because on youtube in, on youtube studio you have the opportunity to like edit and upload every video and cut out a part so i went there did that i i had to go and do research for that i learned through tutorials on youtube cut out the the clip do you know the lab clip was not even up to one minute i kid you not i didn't show anybody's face nothing Whew. i cut the part out and made the video public again and that was just how i scaled through that but there's a lot and lots and lots of challenges but these are the three that i'm comfortable sharing and i just feel like in case you're watching me and you're doing youtube or you're planning to do youtube in japan just know that you're not alone in the struggles and this is just me just letting you guys know that doing youtube is quite a lot sometimes but i am excited about you know seeing your comments your likes it's fun and it has made me made it also helped me make friends it's on youtube that i talk with yoshi i talk with shigma i talk with ryota like that's how we communicated or that's how we bonded right so it's helped me with even those people every one of them like all of them have experienced it even the street interview i don't know if you guys remember the street interview i did about um um can they guess if my hair is natural or extension guys hey i used to tell shigma that i wish i did a behind the scene of that video everybody you meet is just like no 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 shy no i was just like even shigma was just laughing he was like yeah that's how it always is doing street interview in japan like it's always like that because he does a lot of street interviews so that's just what today's video is about it's a very impromptu video it was inspired by my conversation with yoshi and i just felt so good knowing that i wasn't alone and i decided to also spread that here on youtube so that in case you're going through this you know you are not alone all right thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video drop your comments and your thoughts about the challenges i i shared and i really hope you enjoyed this video thank you guys for watching and see you next time on chilo talks Bye for now, guys.